Hello everybody, this is Sebastian for Thousand Welcome. Today I uh, will be talking about a, a special perfume. Yeah, all of them are, so I don't have to say that in the beginning of every video. But it just would have bits that hard. <laughs> this is Promenade des Anglais from Guerlain. Promenade des Anglais is actually um, a long street in Nice. Uh, nice, it's in the Mediterranean and it was the inspiration for the name of this fragrance but Promenade des Anglais uh, not but but Promenade des Anglais was released in 2016 funny thing is being credited only to Thierry Vosset when in fact um, it's not 100% true because Promenade des Anglais it's a re-release um, of um, Figuiris, which is, it was an Aquilegoria from 2008, and it's uh, credited to Jean-Paul Guerlain, Marie Salamagne, and Sylvain Thuvain de la Courte. Um, the notes are, are quite interesting. Uh, it's quite an interesting perfume, so before any blab, to prevent more babbling, blabbing, <laughs> let me spray this on. It's enough for, for today, actually. Because if I put too much of this, it kind of becomes a little bit cloying on me and a little bit annoying. This is, it used to come in this um, B bottle here with the pump atomizer. But, um, since Guerlain is, you know, changing the image of the brand and the repackaging of the La L'Art de la Matière and uh, um, adding new perfumes to it, you know, they've been doing a bunch of changes. A lot like this collection, which uh, was called uh, Colix, uh, Le, Le Parisien, I think, um, was, it's gone. Like nobody, none of these perfumes have been of easily available as easily in quotation uh, because they were never really that easy to find um, anymore meaning they're not in the shops anymore so a few of those that have been discontinued such as Gourmand Coquin and Mon Precieux Nectar have been available lately but in very specific shops so Belgium uh, has Gourmand Coquin um, Paris, some shops in Paris also have it, and Montpressure Nectar also. Those are the two that kind of are sticking around a little longer. We don't know what's going to be the fate of the collection. So far, it seems that it's been discontinued, but we don't know what they're doing because I don't think they're done doing the, you know, rebranding of the their perfumes and the collections. Oh, is it ever beautiful? It's, oh gosh, it's so good. It's very, it is it is figgy. There's a lot of, um, well, the previous name when it was in an Aquilagoria originally was called figgy, uh, Figuiris, which means fig iris. Uh, do I get that? Yes, I get a lot of fig and iris, but it's not overly powdery, the iris. It's just, um, let me spray on my hand too, so I can, because it's on fabric, so it might behave a little bit different. Um, as you can see, <laughs> we've used quite a bit of it. And uh, right now it's in the, it's still in the wet stage, so quite alcoholic still. But from the shirt, it's, it's a fig that it's ripe, but not, overly ripe it's just you know it's still green and sweet at the same time it, it's firm to the touch it's not super soft to fig it's 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 slightly firm you can it still detect that little green um touch in the um, from the skin even more when it's recently like just sprayed on the skin like it's dry it start it started to dry down a little bit and it's quite green in the opening 
fleshy green of the fig but then the iris starts coming out um, and it's slightly powdery and yeah it's it's actually a very realistic fig i find it's quite quite yummy <laughs> but it, it doesn't go in the in the realm of um gourmand it, it doesn't it's not really gourmand gourmand to me because i don't know it's because it does feel like you know being outdoors and you get the different whiffs of you know the, the, like the fig tree and and figs and the iris is around and yeah it's supposed to have some vetiver to and vanilla i don't get a lot of vanilla here no barely any it's mostly fig and iris it's it's quite beautiful actually unfortunately it's been um hard to find um, but you can still find it some places uh, but the thing is if you if you um, haven't smelled and you're considering a blind buy um i would i would highly suggest to try it before buying because not everybody really likes this it because the fig and the iris together can be can be a um challenging perhaps to a lot of people and i've seen a lot of people buying it and um letting it go not long after that it's i, I wouldn't say it's a mass appealing perfume uh, definitely not and i'm actually talking about this perfume because i was inspired by a dear friend uh, so she was asking me today about it and i was talking about it you know from from memories so i decided you know what i haven't posted my video today so i'll talk about promenade des anglais and i'll dedicate this one to her so this one is for you <laughs> and yeah it's it's like a, a walk it's like being outdoors in the medit in the mediterranean it's it's quite beautiful actually but the funny thing is when we first got this perfume i wasn't really a big fan of it i like didn't care for it i didn't wear it for the longest time my husband was the one who who really really loved it he wore most of it as bottle actually and he loves it actually so much that he ended up getting a second bottle which is rare for him and yeah very green leafy fleshy fig with iris if you can imagine that like getting th those scents uh, while walking outside and um not it's not sunny uh it's like a sun sunset like the sun is going down as like the the sky is lightly orange and you're walking by the beach or yeah by the beach and this this the sand it's been warmed you know by the sun all day and yeah it's, it's the image that i get <laughs> but then there are a bunch of many trees around and yeah just just very happy it's it's a happy scent i like it so yeah this was my take on um promenade des anglais i hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah i hope you have a wonderful day morning afternoon evening night wherever you are in the world and the world does need more beauty lovers bye